Hey guys, this is Steve with Cardenham Killigrew, and welcome to the Modern Man's Guide to Being an Old World Gentleman. In these webisodes, we are going to be exploring everything from wine to fashion to grooming to polo to sailing and just about everything in between, including what we're going to do here today, cooking. Now, be sure to subscribe to the Cardenham Killigrew channel here on YouTube, click like, follow us on Facebook, and get great stuff on CardenhamKilligrew.com. Let's see what we got. Hey guys, on today's episode of Modern Man's Guide to Being an Old World Gentleman, we're obviously going to be doing some cooking today. Now, what we are going to be cooking is awesome. It is called roasted chicken. Now, I know what you're thinking. Chicken, roasted, we've done that a million times. But the fact is, it can be a really, really cool dish. And most people don't know how to do chicken right. It usually ends up dry, it's bland, it's lacking all the cool ingredients. So we're going to do little things a little bit different today. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. You do not need a lot of cooking skills to do this. You do not need a lot of experience in the kitchen. You need very few ingredients. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. Check it out. Alright guys, so this is about all you need to get this great dish rolling. Now this is not a lot of ingredients, but they all blend together to make a really nice dish for you. So what do we need here? We need a little bit of dried thyme, a little bit of paprika, three bags of small carrots, some celery, a medium onion, some garlic, fresh rosemary, some button mushrooms, a bag of these cool red gourmet potatoes, a chicken, and about a half a pound of bacon. Now this is all going to blend together to give you an amazing roasted chicken dinner. It's going to be like anything you've ever had before and it's going to look great on the table. You're going to impress everybody. It's going to be wonderful. Now here's how we do it. First thing we're going to do is break up that bulb of garlic. We're going to pull about six, seven, eight cloves off. We're going to smash them, chop them up, And we're going to keep it very, very rustic. So the next thing we're going to do is chop this onion up. You kind of want nice small pieces, about a quarter of an inch. So we have about seven or eight cloves of garlic smashed up. We have white onion chopped up. Now we're going to move on to these beautiful button mushrooms. I gave these a quick rinse and basically what we are going to do is cut these in quarters. Cut them too fine or you slice them, they can dissolve real easy and you don't know what you're getting. In quarters gives you a nice good chunk, it absorbs up a lot of that cool chicken broth. Alright, now that we've got the mushrooms, we've got the garlic and we've got the onions. The next is celery. We're going to do two, three, four stalks depending on how much flavor you like. And we are going to do about quarter to a half inch slices. Okay guys, so what you need next is a nice deep roasting pan. This is about 3-4 inches deep, nice and big, because you not only want your chicken in there, you're going to have a lot of broth, you're going to have a lot of fat drippings, and you're going to have all of those cool vegetables in there. So you want something just about this size. You're going to place the chicken on there, make sure the innards are out of the chicken, place it breast side up, and then we're going to start adding our ingredients. Alright, so now comes the magic. We're going to infuse all sorts of herbs and vegetables into this chicken to take it kind of to the next level. It's not going to be an ordinary roasted chicken. The flavors are going to be deep and it's just going to be magical. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to run our finger up in between the breast meat and the skin. We're going to do this on both sides of the chicken. Next we have our rosemary. I'm going to break this off into two small pieces. I'm going to put one in each side. And again, this is between the breast meat and the skin. You can kind of see the rosemary up underneath the skin. Under each side, I'm going to put a piece of onion. And I am going to put a piece of garlic. Now what this does is it traps all of those flavors in between the skin and the breast meat. And as this is roasting, all of that flavor is going to be trapped inside. It's going to drip and be absorbed into the breast meat, into the skin, and it's going to give this chicken amazing aromatics. 
Next, we are going to add a little bit of dried thyme. Put some around into the roasting pan as well. And we are going to do a little bit of paprika. And again, you can drizzle a little bit extra within the roasting pan. And also we have that extra rosemary. We're going to place that in the roasting pan. That's going to get into all of those vegetables that we're going to put there in a second. Next, I am going to dump in three bags of small cut carrots. And I'm going to move these all around this roasting pan. The carrots are great because they get nice and soft and they absorb all of those juices. That's a lot of carrots. Next, those gourmet little mini potatoes. We're going to add those all around the outside of the chicken. You notice they're smaller than the regular potatoes. So the cook time on them will be just perfect for a chicken this size. All right. Now we have all of the mushrooms and all of those celery and all of the onions and the garlic that we chopped up and you can see that we are just surrounding this chicken in all of these different flavors. All right, we've added all of the spices, the aromatics and all of those vegetables to our chicken. Next. We're going to add one of the coolest ingredients I think you'll see. Now this not only helps to keep the chicken moist, but it infuses a beautiful flavor into it. Bacon. And everybody loves bacon. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do with my bacon is I'm going to rip off two small pieces, mostly fat, as you can see. And like the garlic and the rosemary and the onion, I'm going to put that up underneath the skin, between the skin and the breast meat. Now, as that cooks, all of those fats are going to drain into the meat. After that, what we are going to do is crosshatch this chicken with full strips of bacon. And just look at that. So now that whole chicken is covered in bacon that is going to drip fat all over that. It's going to add a great flavor. It's going to keep it nice and moist. And it's just going to bring all of those flavors infused together. Now that we've gotten everything together, we've added our bacon, all of our aromatics, all of the vegetables, the chicken. We're just going to do a nice little salt and pepper blend right on top. All right, so we're finally getting towards the end of this. We have all of our vegetables, our aromatics, our bacon, our spices, all these wonderful things pulling together in here. So we now need to create a little water barrier in here to catch all those drippings and form a beautiful broth. You're going to add about two to four cups of water to the bottom of this roasting pan. And you always want to keep an eye on the level of the water in here because remember a lot of this is going to discharge water and fat and it's going to raise. So you want to make sure that you have at least an inch, inch and a half in that pan so that you don't overflow. All right, now we are done. It's about two and a half hours later and we have created this beautiful roasted chicken. Check it out. Not bad, right? Looking good. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on a nice serving dish, light some candles, pop a little Chardonnay wine with this, and we're going to really enjoy a great roasted chicken. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Check back every two to three weeks for a new episode of The Modern Man's Guide to Living Like an Old World Gentleman. And enjoy us, like us, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you soon.